How's it going, everybody? Today I got a special treat for you guys. I, I just received a few um, uh, hardware wallets for Bitcoin. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Ledger Nano HW.1 as their smallest um, hardware wallet. Um, I believe it. I believe it's only for Bitcoin, um, but I'm not sure of that yet. I'll keep you guys posted. So we're going to give a quick review on on the on the wallet itself, what I like, what I don't like, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use it so you can receive and send some Bitcoin. All right, guys, let's get right to it. All right, so these are actually not for me. I actually bought these because I kind of wanted to just to spend some money. Um, and I also actually bought these for friends to give them out to. All the friends I've gotten into cryptocurrencies that they don't want to spend any money on a hardware wallet before the, the new update for Bitcoin coming up in August 1st. All right, let's get to it. So, hold on, let me put some of these aside. Sorry, I don't really have a, I kind of I can't find my camera stand. I'm kind of using my, my Nintendo Switch box. So, this is the Ledger Nano HW1, which is supposed to be a, more affordable version of the of the Ledger Nano. Um, I believe I have a Ledger Nano S somewhere around here. I'll find it. Give you guys a comparison of the size. Uh, okay, so did I open it wrong? All right, All right. So off the bat, you get the welcome sign. Our little welcome package. Give you that They'll give you a getting started card. They give you a recovery sheet. This is where you write down your all your words, all your your password phrases. Remember to write them down on here and do not take a picture of them and don't lose that. Then you get a security card with. With a, with a code that you're going to be using when you're sending Bitcoin and you get your wow so this is basically the card inside all you do is put this inside of your USB slot in your, in your laptop I believe you can use it in some cell phones now from what I heard um, this was this only works for Bitcoin, but it's showing the the logo of Litecoin and what looks to me like the Doge coin, or the Doge dog, and BTC. So I'm not sure if it handles all those. All right, so quick update: um, when you're taking this off, make sure you only take off. You could clip it off from this side, from the top piece. And the bottom piece don't take off this piece right here this is how you're supposed to take it off because you're supposed to bend it and put this inside your USB slot don't be like me oh hi ass nigga and I just clipped it off so now I'm probably gonna have to just get a little piece of glue and glue them together which is probably what I'm gonna do with this this is one thing I don't like about this because this is just a little cheap piece of plastic right here. If I fold this like three times, it'll probably snap on me. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of Gorilla Glue right there and just close it up and just leave it like that. All right, so anyways, this is it. Let me give you a quick comparison on what it looks like compared to the Nano S. Get this one out of the way. There, put that there. Bring in a little bit more light. So, the Nano S is like the size of a USB stick or a USB drive. And this is just a little thin piece of plastic, which is great. I feel like I can lose this thing for sure. But you can basically hide this anywhere, like anywhere. 
be careful with the gold plating the one that you get scratched now the difference between the nano the ledger nano and the nano hw1 is that it doesn't bring the little cover it's the same thing it just brings the little silver aluminum cover like this one does all right so another thing i did notice was that it does not bring the leather case for your security card like the ledger nano does a very minor issue to to you it might matter to me it doesn't so let's just give it a shot Let, let's get right to the computer and show you how to use it all right so we're here on my laptop yeah if you don't have chrome the browser you're gonna have to download chrome browser because that's what ledger uses so make sure you download chrome browser and once you're there you're gonna be going to ledgerwallet.com slash start you're gonna go to the website and from here we're gonna um, we're gonna scroll down and find our product which is the ledger wallet hw.1 so let's scroll down here and click on our product the hw1 and it looks like it's loading for you for it might look like it had it's giving you a long time but really i'm just a stone guy so the page is already loaded let me just scroll up and we're going to be clicking install bitcoin wallet we're going to add app to our chrome app and we're just going to let it download all right and there you have it that's simple all right so we're going to close everything and we're going to be searching for ledger bitcoin wallet in your computer we're going to click on it and let the wallet load up once your wallet's loaded up we can get the wallet the actual wallet and put it into the usb slot just be gentle and from here you get two options create a new wallet or restore an existing one if you're restoring an existing wallet a previous one click on that but we'll be clicking on new wallet the screen it's warning you not to use a computer that's infected with malware if your computer has computer stds don't use it all right pressing continue will take you to the to the password screen now you can have your computer generate a four pin password for you this password you're going to use every time you connect your wallet so remember it uh, in my case i'm going to select manual password and come up with my own password okay choose a password uh, that you're going to remember but please be advised that your birth year and your social security numbers are not a good password so choose something wisely okay uh, it's going to ask you to put in the pin pin the pin you just selected again just to confirm we're going to press continue all right so this is the most important page we're going to be writing down all these 24 passphrases one two three four in order write them all down on the pamphlet they give you don't take a snapshot of it don't save it on your computer anything can be hacked nowadays so put right on a piece of paper keep it somewhere safe after you write them down press continue and it's going to test you uh, you're gonna have to write down in this case uh word number 13 and word number 20. In in your case it might be a different number but it's just testing and that's it you're done all you have to do is unplug your wallet and plug it back in and you're all set up so we're gonna be plugging it right back in real quick just to show you sorry about having a little trouble with the camera it's gonna give you your four pin code that you just finished putting in i'm gonna plug it in and my wallet's gonna let me into my wallet itself give it some time to synchronize with the entire bitcoin network and just give it some time it might take a few minutes i'm not gonna cut it short so you guys can see how long it normally takes there we have it and i got a brand new wallet open available let's say it's a zero balance of course and all we have to do is transfer some funds in here um if you want to learn how to transfer funds you click receive and you can either use the bitcoin address and spread that out to friends and family or people or you can use a qr code scanner to send some funds as well now if you want to send bitcoin we're going to be selecting send and we're going to select the amount of bitcoin we want to send in this case i'm just going to send the max amount i have in the account which is ten dollars as you can see down here they're charging me two dollars which is a crazy amount of money 
which is why this new update in August 1st is coming up. So we're gonna select, we're gonna paste in the address, the recipe address, another wallet, and we're gonna press send. All right, then we're prompted with the security features. Um, we could either use the smartphone, we can pair our phone to verify that we're who we say we are, or in this case, we're gonna use the security card, the black security card provided by the wallet. All right, so what you're gonna be doing is pulling out the black security card that came with your wallet right over here, and it corresponds with these uppercase letters, these lowercase letters, and these digits on screen. Right now it's asking me for the number eight, so I'm gonna go to my security card, look at the number eight, and, and click the digit that corresponds with number eight. So for example, this is what the card looks like. Um, they're asking for number eight, so I'm gonna look at number eight, and underneath there is a number five on it, so I'll choose, I'll, I'll press number five on my keyboard for this digit. So I'm gonna go to my keyboard and press number five. Now it's telling me to look at letter V, lowercase v, and let's go take a look so at So we're that. looking for lowercase v, and underneath that we got capital D, so we're gonna be plugging in D. So we're gonna do the same thing for the next two digits. Uh, just look at your card and plug in the corresponding letter. This is a great security feature that Ledger has, and I love it. So once you're done, it's gonna finalize your transaction, and basically that's it, you're done. Let's send the Bitcoin. That fast, that simple. How to use your new Ledger Nano HW.1. Peace out.